All right, guys, I'm here with the man, myth, and legend, man, <laughs> Chris Rankin, Street Outlaw, buddy. How you doing, my brother? Good to see you, man. Awesome, man. So, Chris, what can you uh, what can you tell me about the car, bro? Well, the evening has lightened up. I got one or two drinks in me right now, so I'm feeling pretty good. So, just so you guys know, if I, nice. slur, if I slur a word, it's not because I uh, have a speech impediment. It's, 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 it's because I probably drank some absolute. Anyway, All right. so, just kidding. Maybe not. <laughs> so, uh, this is my first car, man. I bought this car when I was 15 years old. It's a, it's old. It's OG, reliable, man. It's just, this thing goes down a dirt road. Typically, um, and it goes down a really, really good surface. Although tonight, I went out here first round and I put a lot of power in it, which I haven't done with this new setup on a surface where I've seen to be really good. And I backed the bump off and I didn't bump. And Fubar, the whole starting line deal, lost the first round, unfortunately. So I was kind of a first round duck for that cap, but that's cool. My nice. son got kind of, or Kane went out there and his truck broke a turbo. Um, unfortunately, we were really throwing a lot of boost to it and we had a leak. So we broke a turbo, unfortunately, no fault of our manufacturer, our sponsor. They, have made, they built some badass products. The turbos on this car have been nice, about man. 350 passes. So we, what we, turbos we, you got on it? We have a uh, comp turbo 7675s on this, and the truck we run 8885s. Um, they're triple ball bearing. They're, they're air-cooled, uh, oilless design. They're grease turbo. It's an awesome setup. Um, but when you have, when they get abused, obviously anything, they're going to yeah, break. Yeah, of course. So, Unfortunately, we've used them on the truck and one broke tonight on this, so we couldn't really get after it tonight. That truck would have been a real contender in the, in the race tonight, I believe, against Preston. But we didn't get there, but we got back in the loser bracket. We won that. I, Caden, I, Caden didn't want to run necessarily. He said, Dad, you could race. I'm like, nah, man. I'll tune for you. You haven't been behind the seat. He's been gangster wrestling through uh, all school season this year, and he hasn't had a whole lot of time to be behind the wheel. The last past couple months, I've been out testing his truck for him, trying to gain different data and different setups. So I knew that he needed to get some seat time and get behind the wheel. So I let him get after it. And seeing him win and earn the W is just as exciting as it is for me to yeah, drive and run course, that man. thing down to stripe. It was a blast. Is uh, Caden your oldest? Caden's my middle boy. My oldest middle Connor's boy. 19, Caden's 18, Colby's 12. And uh, um, how do you feel him seeing and following in his dad's footsteps, man, with the whole racing thing? Well, I mean, I love that he's really good at it. And he's really talented. He's a really smart cat. He's an athlete. He's a scholar. He's intelligent. So if he takes it to the next level, hopefully he can be one of those tuners and I'll be hiring or bring him up to work on my new car here in a couple nice. Of weeks. Nice. But nonetheless, we took the one, the winner, the, the loser bracket win or the, you know, winner or the Woody, whatever, whatever you want to call it, the second chance <laughs> race winner tonight. Well, you but won something, right? You go home with some money. We won a thousand bucks. And nice. They cover our fuel coming out here. Yeah. Eight hour, eight and a half hour drive. But we could have tested this shit at home to find this stuff out. Yeah. But honestly, man, testing's not the same. It's like, it, ain't, it ain't right. No, yeah. you, you go out and test, you test. Yeah, you might personal best your stuff. That's cool. Yeah, you can write <laughs> personal best on that ticket, post it up on your, on your board. But when you go out here and you're taking W's and your personal best for stuff, or you're going out and, yeah. and with competition you don't know, yeah. you're seeing people you don't know, you're in a different service you don't know, it's fun, man. Yeah. It's, it's a whole other challenge, it's a whole other atmosphere. And honestly, that's where it's at. So we came out here, we tested our new setups. We set this car up in this truck, this Mega Cash days, in a totally different plotting and suspension setup. We used to run these cars in any squat, we set them on squat. We got beat by some guys out there this year. I don't want to say too much, but we yeah. we didn't do the as I would have liked to have done with the power level these cars have and the abilities we have with the way they were set up. So we changed them, and then we come out to a fast surface like this tonight, and we're like, damn, I wish this was like the way we had them out in Mega. Right. What uh, what engine and transmission you got in this car, man? So this car is a little this is a little pip street car. It's a little small tire car. It's got a 378 uh, dark block. Uh, with twin comp turbo 7675 uh, millimeter turbos. It's a good little car. It makes just shy of like 2,000 horsepower probably. So we're around that neighborhood. But uh, the car's been really fast. I mean, I mean, no secrets in the car. It's been 450s. Yeah. Pretty comfortably without uh, without killing it and breaking it. So this motor probably right now, being a hydraulic roller motor, it's got probably 350 licks on it. Wow. We beat on these things, man. So we're out here being competitive with all these guys in the small tire world with the 41Xs. Like we got our new car, the Hemi Pro Charge deals. And these things are just nice just a basic motor you get get your normal suv you buy off the gm lot so, <laughs> all right so talking about that mpk stuff and, and about your new build man what can you tell me about that or what can you share about that or can I mean, you I, share I, anything are you like yeah, 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 there's no secrets about the car so as far as production goes with the show i'm just going to give it a shot and hopefully they're going to allow us to do our part and be a part of it however we can 
as far as I know, we're a participant, and uh, you know, we plan on going out there and being competitive. But look, anybody knows us about what we do. We're good at power match. I really, do, I'm really good at reading road, reading surface. I'm good on big tire. Yeah, I've never been 390, 370, 380, 360, whatever. But I've been low four seconds on the marginal or better than marginal surface in, in the relic before. So, and I'm familiar with big tire status and big tire, you know, uh, data and everything I need to do with figuring out a plotting and a setup of big tire. I'm good with it. So. Uh, I've never been in that arena, so I'm really looking forward to jumping in that arena and being behind the wheel of a three-second car. Nice. So we built a new car. It's obviously not a long wheelbase car like some guys may prefer, but with bias, ballast, and uh, rear engine mid to mid-plate design and length, I think we're going to be able to do a little better than maybe some people expect. And at least I'm hoping that we do better than we even expect, or at least meet our, our goal and expectation. But um, the car should you know, be capable of making 4,500 plus horsepower on kill with the the turbo setup and the motor setup, obviously behind a lockup. Um, you know, if if we do our job properly out there with the weights that are allowed in the MPK this year, and if we got to do the race our way in, or we got to be in some little bullpen deal for people to pick us from, you know, whatever the case may be, they anybody that knows that knows anything about us and the race with us, they know that we know our stuff and we do. Yeah. We, we put our time in, we work hard at it. Uh, like tonight, we never came here before, and we ended up in the finals of the second chance race. Do I think we could have ended up in the finals in the main event? Absolutely, we could have either in this car or that truck. I made a mistake, unfortunately, because I made a tuning error, um, you know, and the truck broke apart, so yeah. that kept us out. But in the MPK world, you know, we are going to have the same ability to do at that level as what we do on nice. the street or the track. So I think when will the car knows, be ready? I think everybody knows that too. So um, the car will be ready here in about a week and a half. I got my tuner flying in on twenty seconds, so hopefully we got. Uh, the wiring done. So Aki Restoration, hats off to these guys. Aki Restoration is in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Uh, Greg Harvey and Jared Aki, they uh, took, a, took a big project on with taking on the wiring at a, a, another elite level locally in the Mid-Atlantic in the northeast side a town where I needed a company that I can rely on and some good guys that want to do some work for us. And they took on the wiring, so they're doing a, a stellar job so far. So I can't wait to get Greg up here. Greg Power for GP2. He's coming up on the 22nd. To help us tune the car so hopefully everything unfolds really clean really smooth and uh we go out and we get a a, a good test session or two under us right off the bat that goes flawlessly unlike some other builds i've had in the past where this thing is giving me some hell that thing is giving me some hell and you know i just want to be able to have you know one of these builds that hopefully i can get yeah. off uh, on the right start and right track right off the bat without having to chase a lot of uh, new car blues. So hopefully we're not going to struggle with that. But uh, when we do get a, it lined out and get a handle on it, we still are not going to have the data that all these other guys have with all these other tracks. But it doesn't matter. When you know a service and you see what people are doing, you can read ET, you can see ET, you can kind of time people, you know where you need to be. And once we get a couple licks, if I get a 450 lick to a 380 lick, a 390 lick. I'll know where I need to be on the surface to get a handle on what kind of tune up I need to put a car. Um, I'm not a fuel tuner. That's Greg's job. I'm not a table maker. That's Greg's job. When they figure out how to create the tables I need to make to be able to do, do my power management, then I'll do really well at power management. I'm a good power manager, so when we get time to get a handle on that whole setup in that arena, I think we'll be in a good spot. I just can't wait till next week comes around, or well, following week, so we can get this car underway and get it under startup and get some burner rubber uh, smell around nice. that car and get that car break it in the, break yeah. it in yeah break it in right safely comfortably and uh, hopefully i did all my part right getting the car to the point where it's at now so. nice nice um your youtube channel man because i know that you're probably gonna be putting some of that content out or at least try to put some of that content out uh what's that right now what what, what do you call your youtube channel so our youtube channel is just chris rankin at youtube um it's uh nothing special honestly we have not put enough time into it. I've been advised by friend, friends, yourself, and fans have told me I need to do a lot more with YouTube. So we're trying to. We got some other buddies with Ignition Source TV, with some local guys in Hanover, Pennsylvania, that have been helping us out. And nice. hopefully they can help apply us along with guys like you to get us uh, into the uh, YouTube world because the social media game obviously is really important to be a awesome. yeah, factor I mean, in your program. Yeah, your fans would definitely want to see what you got going on. And uh, I think that it'd be very, very beneficial to you. And uh, and to your fans and you know to your whole racing program yeah the racing program can't be had without fans honestly yeah. like being out here ever being here and having friends and fans come up and, and greet you and pleased to see you glad you came out to their town yeah. that you've never been to it's pleasing it's very pleasing it's very 
it's very uh, very comforting when you yeah. know that you drove so much about time or spent so much time. Money. Yeah, it's refreshing for yeah, sure. It's refreshing, absolutely. So awesome. It's a good time. Yeah, awesome, brother. It. Well, a good time here tonight. Oh, awesome, man. Well, uh, that's all the time I guess we got, man. I appreciate you taking the time, Chris, man, and I wish you the yeah, best uh, in all your future journeys, man, from uh, man, either MPK, you, small tire, big tire. I mean, we're definitely looking forward to seeing you on the street, man. Yeah, man. All right, bro. This, uh, hopefully these big tire cars will be a new venture that's going to transpire into a, to a bigger thing over, yeah. overall here in the near future. But the small tire game is something that uh, is fun. Yeah. You know, we got to be able to play – Play our cards right and be a be a hard contender, strong contender at it because it's a big game right now. Yeah, it. it definitely but is. We were always been a really good content, good contender over the years. I just I'm always I like going fast, man. You do a fast on Yeah, like, well you're a hell of a driver. Say five tire radial. You know you're not you're not going as fast as you can go unless you're on a big tire. So yeah, I that's I'm, I can't wait. You're definitely a driver, man. Appreciate well, it, man. appreciate you, brother. You Have man. a good night. See you, buddy. Yep. Thank you. It's with great pleasure we bring you this update. Chris Rankin was able to secure a spot on MPK Season 6 2023 and form part of the unstoppable team of Kai Kelly. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you for watching.